Hi, I'm Mo and I'm trapped in Fallout. Today I'm going to show you how to get your hands on the Samurai Sword, a unique weapon that you can get in the Mothership Zeta DLC in Fallout 3. Once you have made it to the Engineering Core, simply go up to the level of the Engineering Core. Now, to actually gain access to the area where you can get your hands on the sword, you will first need to follow Sally and actually unlock the cryo tubes after which she will unlock the area for you. So once you've done that portion of the quest, simply go into the maintenance tunnels. The maintenance tunnels is on the left of the robot assembly, so it is located here. It is a teleporter. Go ahead and go in. Once inside, follow this path, so go through this doorway and you will end up in a hall. Go to the end of this hall and you will see a closed door. Go ahead and open this. And in here, if you turn right, so you're going north, go to the very end and you will see Sally tinkering with a bunch of controls. This is actually the controls to a lift. Go ahead and talk to her and ask her to get on with it. Hey, I didn't know you were exploring. So simply select, let's just get out of here. Yeah, you're probably right. And with that, she will now activate the lift and we will go through a number of floors. At one point, we will be thrown out of the lift. So I am just going to go ahead and skip to that portion. Eventually, you will find yourself being thrown out of the lift. Once this has happened, Sally will approach you, at which point we will simply ask her that we are going to split up and venture forward. Hey, hey, are you? Select, I'm all right. I think I'm okay. And then say that we should split up. Okay, I'll try. And with that, if you now look to your west, you will see the entrance to the waste disposal. From here, simply follow this path and you will eventually see a door. Go ahead and open this. And once in this area, look to your left and follow to the end and you will see another door. Go ahead and open this and go forward. After you open the door, simply follow the tunnel to the end and open this door. And once you've done that, Again, follow the path. It's very singular over here. Open this door. You will come to a set of platforms from here. Follow the platform around. So you're sort of making a U-turn. And then again, another door. So like I said, very linear. You will see another door over here. Go ahead and open this. And you should see a set of stairs. Go up the set of stairs. And as you approach the end, you should see a door that's sort of stopped by a force field. We will now need to go through a number of rooms straight ahead of us and wait for Sally to sort of activate the force field so that we can go through. So when you're ready, just go forward. So we will need to go through each room and we will need to wait for Sally to deactivate each of the force field as we go through. Now, as we go through these rooms, Sally will deactivate each of these force fields and there really isn't much we can do other than just simply wait. So while this happens, just simply wait and she will one by one deactivate the force fields. So simply go next to one and wait. Now if any aliens do show up, fortunately this pressing mission here should take care of them. but. For the most part, we are just trying to go to the other side of the force field. Now again, just wait here on the off chance you get some more. And if any do show up, just go ahead and shoot them whilst Sally is deactivating the force field. As you go through, you will come to this corridor with the door at the end. Simply go through the door. After you have opened the door, what you want to do is head west. And there will be another door there behind this force field. So go through this door. In my case, it's open, but you will need to open this door. Once you've done that, you will see a door to your south. Go ahead and open this door. Once you open the door, just go straight and you will see a set of stairs. Go up this set of stairs. And then on your right, you will see another force field with Sally behind it. She will deactivate and come and speak to you. Okay, let's get out of this place. Simply say, let's get back to the core. Sure, there's a teleport. Now, before we do, 
If you now look to your west, so directly in front of you, you will come to what looks like some sort of medical supply room. However, if you look directly in front of you, you will see the Samurai's Sword. The Samurai Sword is a unique melee weapon that you find in the Mothership Zeta DLC in Fallout 3. It has a base damage of 24 with a DPS of 55.2. It has a critical multiplier of 2 and can be repaired using Chinese officer's sword. The Samurai Sword is officially the oldest weapon in the Fallout 3 game. It also has one of the highest melee weapon stats attack and has also a very low AP cost associated with it, making it a great melee weapon to use in VATS. From full condition, the Samurai Sword will break after 833 successful strikes. And that's it. This was a simple video on how to get your hands on the Samurai Sword, a unique melee weapon that you get in the Mothership Zeta DLC in Fallout 3.